Greetings. So this lesson is going to be on just simple conversions. So when we talk about conversions, we're talking about basically just changing the appearance of a value. So um, I've seen a lot of different um, lessons on this, and some people break the conversions up into conversions within the metric system and conversions between the metric and the U.S. customary uh, units, but in reality they're all the same and uh, they're all handled the same way. Okay, the first thing you have to realize is all of these conversion factors always equal one. So just like you know we have five equals five, right? One gram equals a thousand milligram. If we divide five by five, we get one. If we divide one gram by a thousand milligram, we also get one. So all we're doing is we're multiplying by one to change the appearance of what we want to convert into the units that we desire. Okay, so let's just do a couple. Let's say, um, want to change uh, 5.5 grams in the milligram. So we're going to multiply 3.5 grams times a form of 1 so that the grams cancel out and the units of the milligram are left over. So we look on our little uh, chart here. We see that we have 1,000 milligrams over 1 gram. Okay, so anything divided by itself is 1. So the grams uh, divide by gram, so they cancel themselves out and we're left with milligram. So now all I have to do is multiply 3.5 times 1,000, and we get uh, you know, 3,500 milligram. Okay? Pretty simple. Now, I've seen uh, a lot of books. Uh, they say that when you convert between the metric system, you know, you, if you're going from bigger to smaller, or smaller to bigger, you move the decimal point three places one way or the other, Okay, that to me is a very dangerous method. And uh, when I've taught this class, the students who have insisted on doing that invariably move it the wrong place. Okay, so then if you move it the wrong place, three places, then you're off by a factor of one million. And of course, you don't want to give somebody a million times uh, their, their uh, prescribed dose or one one millionth of it. So um, it's much safer to do this. Uh, eventually, you're going to know that 3.5 grams is 3,500 milligrams. Just like you know, two dozen eggs is 24. So once you get to that stage, you don't have to do any of this stuff. You're just going to know that 3.5 grams is 3,500 milligram, or 100 micrograms is a, a tenth of a milligram. But until you do, I highly suggest you use this method. And also, by using this, you're building on a foundation to do much more difficult problems down the road. And a lot of times, say we're working with a percent strength and we have to change from grams to milligrams in the middle of a much more difficult problem, we can just throw one of these conversion factors in and we're done. There's no moving the decimal point and doing a separate little problem. So let's do just uh, one changing uh, kilograms to pounds. Okay, so let's say someone is uh, 87 kilograms and we want pounds. So you write down the units of the answer, what you're given to start with, and then the ratio. So in this case, we need pounds on top and kilograms on the bottom, right? So 2.2 pounds for one kilogram. Okay. So that works out to 87 times 2.2, so 191.4. Um, I've seen a lot of textbooks say, you know, to change kilograms to pounds, you multiply by 2.2. Because stuff like that drives me nuts because you're not multiplying by 2.2, you're multiplying by 2.2 pounds over one kilogram, which is actually one. 
So if you multiply 87 kilograms times 2.2, you would have 191.4 kilograms. Okay. Then also, if you understand that you're actually multiplying by one, that really sets the foundation so that you understand exactly what you're doing. Okay, so to recap, better not to move the decimal point. You're always multiplying by one. And this system has a built-in error check system because you cancel out the kilograms and you make sure that you have the units of your answer before you do any calculations. Thank you.